My house is at 6,200 feet, Sandy goes up to 11, but there's 17 Arroyos coming down, and 2% of, of that granite mountain is magnetized. So every time it rains, it breaks down, it goes into the Arroyos. You go into these Arroyos with a, with, a, with a pail and a big magnet, and you see these black streaks, and you pick up that stuff and take it home. And I was making magnetic water, I drink magnetic water, I put it on my plants, and, and my, my third website here talked about it. You put it, we had a nine foot tall geranium, it makes it grow fast. I put it on my grass, it's green and it grows and it's beautiful. That's the good news. The bad news, now you've got to cut it every three days. <laughs> it stimulates particles. Magnetic energy is the energy of life. You know, Dr. Becker wrote a book, Body Electric. Yeah. I'm going to write one, Spirit Magnetic. Oh. All energy and healing starts in the spirit and then it has to manifest in the body. And so we're waiting for this. I'll give you one more song again. Jesus did his miracles because he was a, a, a magnetic person. He had, was very spiritual. Very, so everybody has a spiritual energy mold within their body. And if you can activate that, you get full healing. So Jesus would send any over to a fellow who has got a broken arm, energize that magnetic mold, mold and that, that magnetic mold has priority over matter and energy to reform itself. The loaves and fishes. He a a blessed the loaves and fishes, activated their magnetic mold. You pull a loaf out, a new one forms. You pull a fish out. <laughs> and, and, and so he fed 5,000. Yeah, There's still enough yeah. left over. Yeah. But it's all part of this magnetic and magnetic spirit we all have. And, and these components, these monatomics, have a magnetic, have a diamagnetic field. They interact with it. That's why the healing property of all herbs comes from the magnetic monopoles, that the magnetic materials of these diamagnetic materials, which are the enormous materials that are in there. You see, John, I already have a 1600 watt microwave. I want to know when should I quit my day job. Find <laughs> <laughs> me the microwave and ask. <laughs> I'm going to take another look. Okay, okay. Here we go. Take another look. Gold hits 2000 an ounce. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's a good market. You must be an investment banker. <laughs> there we go. That, is that done yet? Just starting to melt. Just starting. The reason I have that little piece of carbon on top because if you melt silver, if you melt silver with carbon on top, you got to start it. You need to press it start. Oxygen out of the air. It's not going. <laughs> press start. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, if you melt silver without carbon on top, it's oxygen. Yes, that's about 800 degrees. Yeah, it's about 890. Eight, it's going to get a little higher. We got to get it. Well, silver melts about 900, and so you need a little bit higher temperature. It's just starting to melt with little drops in there. You were about to explain what happens when silver absorbs a lot of oxygen. Yeah, what happened is, it's like a, uh, if you don't put the cover on it, it takes oxygen out of here. You have to pour it, as it cools down, it gives it off, and it bubbles. It's like opening a bottle of soda. It, it, it effervescence, and you don't get a smooth cast on it. So, John, let me just make it clear. You're saying that the gold and the silver is already in the the, the it's dirt. In these materials. It, it's in that, but but you got to pull it out and sort of extract it to the outside. Is that that's what the process? And you have to you have to convert them into a new form of matter. And, and heating is allowing us to to get the extraction, get get it to move out. Yes. Okay. It's too locked in place and crystal. Yeah, run out to the front and tell the taxi driver wait for 10 minutes. Okay? He's from Holiday Inn, okay? Tell John to be coming. Yeah, and so. Yeah. yeah, tell him we'll give him some gold. <laughs> Has, have you got some samples here to show people? Okay. Where are they now? Yeah, let, everybody needs to see these samples. Can we pass them around? No. 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 Not good. Idea. Not good. That, that big gold nugget. No. This gold, this piece of gold, this piece of gold, this piece of gold and feel it, just and feel, it, and feel the weight on that. That's gold with platinum in it, and it came out of brown beer bottles. How many? How many bottles? I don't know. That was one by a friend of mine. He gave me this stuff. He made four or five ounces of this stuff, and so he gave me a, a third of an ounce. This is 
uh, about 10, 15 grams. But how many bottles does he take? It's got that. It's got that. Yeah, so this is, this is what it looks like. And recently it looks a little lighter. It looks more like raspberry than gold because it's got platinum. And that's why it gives you the regular surface. If it was pure gold, you'd have a smooth surface. But when there's an element in it, when there's an element in, it, in the gold that has a max at a higher temperature, you get a regular surface. You get a at different times. Then you get a regular precipitation cool. coming out. You think it might be melted? I see so. I'm going to give it another shot. I have a question though. When, when you put a beer bottle in there, obviously you could maybe crunch up a beer bottle and fit a whole beer bottle in this. But in yours, this is small. Well, you just put chest in So um, my question is, when you put in the beer bottle, when it's done with the first pass, I guess I'll say, do you find a nugget in one section like the bottom? No, sometimes and then you throw away the rest. Yeah, so you've you got some like slag that you throw away. Uh, yeah, for lack of a better word. It's, 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 <laughs> I'd say forever. Yeah. So. So there's two, di I, as I'm getting it, there's two different kinds of gold, and the difference is the structure. They're both gold, but they got a little different arrangement of stuff inside. That's interesting. That's what... Like it's just that the gold is separated one atom at a time, and you can't really collect it unless you have this special device. Yeah. I don't know. Here. It's gold in seawater, but it isn't any 8% is what this guy says. You know how much, if it's 8% gold, the weight of the gold would be as much as the water. Right. Yeah. That's interesting. I don't know. We definitely. I'm ready to pour it. And I'm going to, as soon as I finish pouring, I'm going to be packing up my, my slides. So if you want, save me one of those. I want one of those. Yeah, okay. I got my 20 bucks here. These are free. Here you go. That's for me. Thanks. I will when you go ahead. Uh, the guy? I don't know if I'm ever going to actually do this because. <laughs> wow. Oh man, that is cool. <laughs> Ooh, that's got to be ready. <laughs> this is the real deal. Oh yeah. There we go. There it is. Oh yeah. Oh man, look at that stuff. Oh wow. <gasps> Woo! Oh, oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, holy smokes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see what it is. This this carbon is almost burnt out and stuff. So we gotta cool this sucker down. No, this was this was black sand. This is black sand. But that no, looks no, like no, this this was just plain silver. I just poured oh. silver in there. I just want to pull if you get hot enough to melt. These things. Okay. Here. Yeah. That's so, up so we started with silver and we ended with yeah, silver. Yeah, yeah. I just want to show you. We okay. Get it, but the same equipment is used. It can get you hot enough to do it. The okay. Assay so with, with the the assay process for gold, just takes more steps. You have to do yeah, this yeah, several more times. Yeah, more steps and multiple stuff. And then okay. Actually, so to get the gold, gold you, you, you can't. It's like not this, so simple. And you melt the glass and you cook the glass again and again and it turns brown and then it turns okay. white and then it turns. You don't blue. get gold the first time. No, you got to work at it. No, you have to recycle. You Okay. How many times you have to do it? 10, 20, well, sometimes five times, sometimes more. Like, it depends. Why does it take so many times? Well, usually, just right now, we get the microwave gets too hot and shuts off. Mm. Oh. Uh, and, but you get better ones. And I got a friend who got a commercial microwave. He so is it a question of getting it right? If you if you if you could get it right the first time, yeah, you could do I think it once. So, well, within an hour and a half, you'll be you'll be getting it. A friend of mine is doing okay. that now. So. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. Um, Very interesting stuff. So what's the microwave? Magnetite? Uh, it was just doing silver. I, I don't think it was anything. I mean, it's the same process. You just melt the metal and it, he was able to make, get some gold out of a bunch of beer bottles. He showed us the very gold. All right. Great stuff. Thank you.